I'll just start here. How the overall progress of the youth events just this far in the camp, a week in the camp, are you happy with it? What have you like? Just kind of the big picture overall progress of the defense. Yeah, Greg, with defense, uh, you know, I think to play, be a good defensive team, what you got to do is you got to uh, do a great job as far as number one, in, installing the fundamentals, and uh, and then also putting in schemes that guys can execute, and that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to rep them over and over and over again, um, and making sure that our guys can, you know, do it one day a little bit better than the, the previous. Understanding that obviously you're going to have competition, competition through the year, but are you starting to get a, a a clear picture of, of your two deep. Um, do you start to feel good about that, or is it still very fluid? How would you describe? Yeah, it? no, I think it's really fluid. I, what we're trying to do is get through the initial install, um, very front loaded with that install, and then what we'll do is we'll get a chance uh, when we scrimmage here this Saturday to get a real picture of who wants to tackle and, and, and who can execute at a really high level. How much limitation is there on evaluation until your talent? We saw you on part of the open part. And, sort of thud and how much can you evaluate when guys aren't going to the ground yeah and that's i tell you what to be a good football team the nature of it uh how fast um and how aggressive this game is is you got to be able to keep these guys on their feet um just you know with roster management to be able to be smart um and it's the tempo that uh, coach elliott prax practices at really allows our guys to get into good shape and, and to display that they can execute the defense you've still had a few practices now what type of is Cam Butler. What can he bring to this defense watching him? Yeah, no, Cam Butler's a great worker. Uh, you know, a young man that has played a ton of football. He hit over 700 snaps last season um, at a high level. And so, you know, it's, it's exciting to have him. And he definitely brings some depth to, to the D-line. You said he changed his body a little bit since his arrival. Have you seen kind of that change already? Yeah, no, I, you know, he's been a really, really disciplined with regards to his nutrition. Um, and then also, too, Coach Smo and the staff did a tremendous job as far as putting him in a position now to uh, to compete at the ACC level. Coach Elliott talked about Deshaun Perry and how he moved more to what he's in more of a natural position. What have you seen from his development? Yeah, D Deshaun's done a, a really nice job as far as, you know, attacking um, the new opportunity. Um, and again, another young man that, you know, is just enjoys the process and does all the little things right. Mike Green's a guy who kind of came on at the end of last season for them. Kind of, what have y'all seen from him since he started fall camp? Yeah, my, you know, Mike Green, you know, he's a, he's a guy that is aggressive, um, loves to take care of the details, and frankly, you know, he's, he's fun to coach because he's, he's, he's got a lot of energy. And so Mike, Mike's made great strides uh, and continues to get uh, a little bit better every day. How about the secondary? I mean, a lot of folks have been on the front side so far with the secondary. How do you kind of see that coming along right now? Because a lot of veterans have gone from last year. Yeah, what's been fun about that is to let guys go compete uh, you know, with a kind of a fresh perspective, trying to put those pieces uh, to allow us to put the best defensive unit on the field. And uh, it's been hyper, hyper competitive, and it's going to be fun to see how it shakes out. And, uh, you know, I hope that creates some depth for us as well. How many defensive linemen would you like to play having a rotation uh, this fall? You know, I, I think that number, that's a fluid number. I, I, I don't know if that's, it's, I have a, a solidified answer on that. I think it's we got to put the best players on the field, and as long as your young man can be productive, um, what we'll do is we'll find a way to get him on the field. This offense has a lot of big play kind of guys. The defense struggled giving up big plays last year, as I'm sure you're tired of us asking you about. Um, does it help when you get in a scrimmage situation that there are guys that can break big plays on this offense to kind of work against and give that? Oh, yeah, you know. Uh, you know, Coach Kitchens and Coach Elliott, they do a tremendous job of uh, attacking us defensively. And then you, you marry that with some really, really talented young men on that offensive side of the ball. Every day, I mean, we're, we're, we're getting better. And, uh, and again, not only fundamentally, but also the attack of, this, of our scheme. So it's been, uh, it, it's been fun to, to learn a bunch. A little bit more mixed bag, I'm sure, but Fitzgerald Cypher's got a lot of playing time last year. Well, we'll, see well yeah, well, there's that good looking young man right there. I'll tell you what. He's always lurking. Oh, he's always lurking. I'll tell you what. But no, AJ, you know, I, AJ does a, uh, you know, just a great job as, as a worker and as a leader. You know, he, he's a young man that, you know, last night was here at 10 30 at night watching film after this practice. Um, and that really wants to hone on his craft. Um, you know, Fentrell's done a, a really nice job as well. And so 
what what will be fun to see these guys is get better as camp progresses going against this really really talented receiver core. While we're in the secondary, there's a bunch of sophomores um, all in the same class, kind of competing. Is anybody have been a good early camp that that's edging ahead in that class? Or yeah, that no, I, and again, I, I guess I go back to kind of like the scrimmage here on Saturday should show us a lot as far as who that who that is and and, and who can really make. Uh, you know, make a jump for an, and really put, push to play significant time as, as we go down the stretch. Assuming that you're, you're still working some nickel stuff or will start, who, who's working at that nickel spot? Yeah, you know, we've actually, I tell you what, when you look at like a bunch of those sophomores, um, you know what, uh, we've got Darius Bratton, Cohen King, Lex Long. I mean, we, we've got a lot of different names, uh, you know, choose from Chase Chalmers. Um, and so we've just tried to be moving those guys at those different safety spots um, and then feel, you know, comfortable with somebody that could play out there. Um, I shoot. I again, it goes back to we'll, we'll see on Saturday a little bit. You know, because we had a few guys that also didn't practice with us in the spring that uh, are, not, are now you know being able to run around. In your mind, at this time of year, um, are those three safety positions are they fairly interchangeable, or in the way you do things, do you want to get somebody into? Kind of their positions. Yeah, I think like w with anything that we do, the more we can become an expert and hone, hone that skill set at a position, um, allows a young man to play faster. Um, at the same time, have to have the flexibility to be able to to mix and play some different positions, and and, and that's that ends up being you know the challenging thing and one of the fun things about uh, you know trying to figure out who who that person is. How's he doing on the inside? What do you like about uh, his skill set? Yeah, no, I mean, you talk you talk about a young man that just is physically gifted, big, strong, powerful, um, and and at the same time, he's done a really, really nice job um, of being able to to know multiple positions. And so, you know, he he brings a lot of diversity as far as what he can do um, at inside linebacker. Tony said that you know he spent a lot more time on the offensive side, but he's been watching Bill to go. Has, has to ask him to slow down sometimes. How is he kind of like picking up on the defensive side of this? Yeah, you know, I mean, you, you know, Coach Elliott, you know, with his, obviously with his experience and championship experience, um, you know, he's got a wealth of knowledge to bring into that defensive room. And so he's, uh, you know, again, it's always when you have a, a new staff, that terminology is a little different, but but now we're all on the same page. And, you know, it's uh, it's awesome for him to, to pick holes into our in our defensive schemes. Yeah, it's it's always incremental, and I think that you know what you see is is you know like yesterday when we got a tackle live for the first time, it it looked like we hadn't tackled in three months. So it's uh, it's always a challenge for us to you know put the pads back on and and make sure that we can get the details like you mentioned.